here we go again, Leesburg. change their mind? I don't blame them the number of times they're like, oh, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> What's going on? It looks like they're going for Winchester now. Thirty thousand. Oh, no. I don't think I'll win that. can't do nothing yet. <laughs> oh! He is there now. Eighth core, what do you look like? Yeah, he's not ready. And we're doing the last draft, right? The last conscription act, I mean. We gotta see what happens. Oh, holy cow, we got a battle out west. Yeah, I want to build a fort, but I got to take back the place where they're at, so I'm attacking them with uh, Alexander, oh no, wait, Edward Porter Alexander, I think is his name, against uh, Henry Slocum. I like Slocum. A battle out west. How long has it been since we had one of those? <laughs> it's not a big battle. I did give uh, Alexander some uh, artillery <laughs> as a just in case. <laughs> now I'll give him two more batteries or, or yeah two more batteries that's a battalion <coughs> remember general alexander is building their forts along the river to protect the mississippi and we are attacking that's to be expected he was minding his own business i guess Doesn't even have a division commander. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will fix you up into a regular core now that you're busy. And we'll start to fight.
because I never expected this core to get into actual combat, I only set it up defensively. After this battle, we will correct that. <laughs> I will make the engineer core an actual core, although I will not renumber it. I'll still call it the engineer core so I know who the hell it is. But we will give him division commanders and some more artillery. His mission is very important. He has to build the forts on the Mississippi. In 1863 and 64, those forts are, might be decisive. So he will have full strength brigades and artillery support and a corps organization. But it will still be the engineer corps. Wait, something was weird. Oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't matter if I win or lose this battle. His units are all brand new, have never been in combat. Some of them are not, not even full strength, so yeah. We have a very, a very slight numerical advantage. but I always get I always get a kick out of things Who commanded the seventh US cavalry? During the Battle of Little Bighorn. Bring me the spyglass. It was not George Armstrong Custer. He was in command of the part of the Middle Cavalry. Not that little big horn. General Sturgeon.
was a Confederate general that used to use a term. So the first division is all cavalry, and the second division is all infantry. Okay. I get quarter in the division of cavalry.
think they just assaulted me. Mississippi. It'll let me build a fort. And the next time they come down, it won't be this hodgepodge of engineer troops. It'll be a core. Colonel Talaferro has become famous and is an inspiration for his men. It's always nice to hear. A few more brigades and two more, well, a division more of our artillery anyway. I don't even think he has a division. We'll make it two divisions, which will be like three more battalions. See, the battle doesn't look like that's that important. My favorite all-time quarterback is New Orleans Saints quarterback Archie Manning. So I have a soft spot for anything they Manning. And of course I like his boys. I like the name Marmaduke, but it, I want an infantry commander. Ad, leadership and admin. I like that. I've heard of him. Now I want an artillery guy. He looks good. He looks real good. So what can I transfer from the uh, west? Nothing, huh? I'll make his brigade bigger, our division bigger.
does that. Fredericksburg? No. Well, I don't know, but anyway, we'll find out next video. Thanks for watching.